Yo, what's good? Welcome back to another video. I'm Tech Out Beats. For today's video, I'm gonna do something different. Today's the start of a brand new series. It's gonna be called Working Smarter, Not Harder. So yeah, for today's first episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn your old beats into new fire beats. So say if you're in the studio and the artist is like, yo, can you make a beat like that other beat that you made? You pull up those files and you just do a little bit of tweaking like that. You keep the same vibe for that artist. The artist just cares about how it sounds. So yeah, so if you can provide the same type of vibe for them, then you and the artist just built the sound together. So yeah, I'll show you guys some tips that I use. I don't do this every time. This is also good for beat block. You know, when you got beat block, just pull up an old file and just tweak it a little bit. Follow and just see where it takes you. But yeah, take out beats. Appreciate you guys rocking me. Let's jump into the video. Alright, so we're gonna start with this melody. One of my presets. It's actually one of my older beats. I just made it a preset, and then I'm just gonna turn it into a different beat. So yeah, I got drums and stuff all in here. I'll show you what my pattern looks like. So I have drums already. I'm just gonna rearrange, swap some drums out, switch them up just a little bit just to make it a little more unique. But for the most part, I want to focus on cooking up using presets right making new beats out of old beats basically so kind of like recycling in my opinion these help you cook up way faster helps you get your ideas out better and then if you if you got a situation where an artist likes a particular beat that you made just open up the same beat and just tweak it a little bit to make it sound different you feel me that's also a good way to develop your own sound you know what I mean? Like how producers sound the same all the time. I'll take Keith. I'm pretty sure he opens up or he has set presets or set um, set FLPs. You know what I mean? That he just opens up and starts cooking. But anyways, yeah. So first, I'm going to go ahead and throw it into the channel mixer. And then just check out the levels. Make sure it's not, you know, doing nothing crazy. Some reverb on this real quick. Put some delay on it. There we go. So normally when I add delays onto a really onto anything I'll play it I'll hit play and then pause it real quick so I can see what that delay sounds like so like I'll show you feel me versus and I'll take off the delay literally stops playing as soon as you stop it so just turn it up a little bit kind of get a little uh, you know bounce to it All right, so next I'm gonna um, work on my hi-hats. I might keep them or I might switch it up just a little bit depending on the vibe I wanna go for. So 
I just went in and added a little bit of a uh, I added some hi hats um some one third hi hats or whatever just copy that pattern next I'm gonna move on to the clap it's pretty simple it's only a few spots the clap would be so That's cool. Um, let's see what this hi hat sounds like. So off rip, I, I know I want to turn up the volume a little bit. Or what you can, what I'm gonna do is uh, just turn down the volume of the melody just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So I want, I'm gonna um, delete this uh, open hat, and I'm just gonna record it in. Let's see, I can't see up here. And I'll just repeat that. Quantize it, copy that over. Secondary snare, I normally like to add a snare just to kind of complement the clap, give it a little more bounce. Feel me? Not too much, just a little bit. Um, go ahead and quantize that and just copy that over. Next, uh, this is it's a perk. Um, let me see. All right, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna record and just uh, record it in. Just like that. Quantize the same thing, just copy it over. Wait. There we go. Wait, is that right? No. There we go. Um, next is this uh, perk right here. I'm probably gonna leave it just like this. I'll play it so you guys will hear it. All right, so off rip, I'm gonna change it to fit the vibe. I want it to go, I want it to play less, way less more frequent. Way less more frequent, that makes a lot of sense. Just like that. Quantize it. Duplicate it. Next is. Um, next would be the kick. We got our kick um, pretty much laid out throughout the whole beat. Again, I'm using one of my old beats to make a new beat. That's pretty much why you guys see everything laid out already. So for the kick, I'm gonna just leave it just like that. For the 808. For the 808, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the same rhythm and pattern. All I'm gonna do is just match the uh, the notes of the melody. So uh, I'll play it. I'll play it from the intro, leading up to the first four bars of the hook, just so you guys can get an idea. And this is without the uh, the 808. So everything but the 808. <laughs> That's fire. Boom. So now just go in, add the finishing touch, which is the 808. I'm gonna unmute it. And um, so I'm gonna let you guys hear the same exact pattern that I use on my old beat, all right? And then I'm gonna change it to match the levels. Sometimes you can keep a few notes the same, but for the most part, you wanna change it to match the same vibe, all right? That's hard. So what I'm gonna do is just to make sure it's on point. 
it doesn't look like I gotta switch it too much, but I'll just pitch it up and then, you know, make the change. That shit beating, boy. I'm gonna keep this. So I'm gonna keep this vibe like this. All right. Get the picture back down. So I didn't have to change it too much. Um, what I'm gonna do is just make the uh, make the last four bars of the hook. I'm gonna change it up the other way just so it's not the same exact as the first four. went in just make it just made it a little bit different um, and then what else so next what I would do is just pretty much format the verse right so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and highlight the verse part and just figure out what I want to sound different so off rip I know I want the melody to sound different so let's see just add some gross beat to it type of beats are perfect for if you're in a studio with an artist and he like yo make something like that other beat you made you know what I mean pull up one of your old beats switch it up just a little bit so I added growth speed go ahead and put the automation in let me know if y'all want an automation tutorial like, it's real simple real easy a lot of people I don't know if who knows how to do what, but just let me know in the comment section if you need help with automation. Alright, so I like how it sounds with the gross rate. So this is the first four bars, second four bars, the last four bars. So the verse is going to be a 12. So for the second four, we're going to bring the growth speed down just a little bit. Now, you know what? For the for the second four, we're going to bring it down kind of a lot. And then we're going to bring it up just a little bit for the last four. And then for the end leading up to the, uh, to the verse, we're going to bring it up again. And then it's going to come back down. Um, what else? Also, just to make it sound a little different. Oh, uh, you know what? All right, so being that we made, we tweaked the patterns for the hook, right? So what I'm gonna do is copy, and just paste it onto the verse because we switched things up a little bit. So we gotta remember to switch it up, you know, at the other parts of the uh, song as well. So. 
So I'll play the verse to see what we got. Take this out just a little bit. Go to one third. Um, highlight this. Wait, highlight both of these. Just bring it down. Um, you know what? We're gonna bring this back in. All right. So yeah, and then delete this. Copy it over. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just turned one of my old beats into a fire new beat. I'm gonna play it from beginning to end. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next. Let me know if any of you guys also do this as well. Again, the main reason why I started doing this is because it became after I started, you know, after my beats leveled up, artists started being like, yo, make a beat like the last word. I'm going for this type of sound, you know what I mean? Once you start developing these sounds with these artists, they're gonna come back to you for that same sound. So, uh, so yeah, I'll just play the beat. Yeah, I just showed you guys That's the end of the beat. Hope you fuck with it. Let me know. Hit the sub down below. Join the fire pieces community I'm building. Appreciate you guys supporting. Follow me on IG at Tech Beats. Let me know in the comments if you want links to my Discord. I got you. Don't forget, music is subjective. Go out and make some fire. Let's get it. Tech Beats. Yeah, boys. The next one. Come on, peace.